And amidst report that the CMU has failed to turn over documents to state agencies investigating allegations of corruption, the Auditor General's Department was asked to respond. At Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, PAC, on Tuesday, committee member Mikhail Phillips put the issue to Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis. Have you been able to receive the documentations from CMU to complete your audit? Mr. Chairman, through the Chairman, you know that I'm generally very discreet when audits are in progress. Um, so I do not want to comment on that at this point in time. I am not aware of any information that was provided yesterday, so certainly I'd be coming from an uninformed position. But um, suffice to say that there are provisions under the law that allows an Auditor General to actually demand information if it is that that information is not being provided. But I've not had any situation that I think at this point in time I need to be alarmed about or feel that we will not achieve the um, objective of the audit. Meanwhile, with CMU hiring private attorney Hugh Wildman to mount a legal challenge, PAC member Fritz Jackson raised another issue. In the past, experience any entity engaging legal counsel in respect to requests that you make for any documents? Yes, I have in the past. And um, that particular entity requested an opinion. Well, they first sought an opinion from the Solicitor General seeking to determine whether it would be appropriate to provide Sorry. the information that they thought I requested. They, right, and the Attorney General provided an opinion that I also use as a basis going forward. And that legal that. counsel that you referred to is the Solicitor General Chamber? Yes. Which is the government's lawyer? Yes. And not external lawyer? Not to me. Okay. All right, thank you. Meanwhile, CMU's attorney, Hugh Wildman, confirmed today that the university has turned over all the documents requested by detectives attached to the Financial Investigation Division, FID. The documents were handed over yesterday. Mr. Wildman says he still intends to challenge the legality of the FID's application to the court to obtain the documents.